Here comes the queen, the franchise, and the self-proclaimed opportunity. The following contest is an Iron Woman match. Making her way to the ring from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. You know, the WWE Universe, at least many in it, believe that she's been handed title opportunities in main events. Well, many of those same doubters live in their parents' basements, Cole. I wouldn't necessarily value their opinion. This is Charlotte Flair. This is the queen. This is the opportunity. So, Byron, from your parents' basement, what do you feel about Charlotte Flair? First of all, I moved out last week, Michael. And second of all, I do think Charlotte's ego could be a bit out of control at times. After everything Charlotte Flair has accomplished in her career, her ego is allowed to be as big as it possibly can be. She's got an amazing robe. Saxton, how have you not learned by now? You need to open the ropes for the queen. Corey, haven't you heard? I'm no longer on robe duty. Oh, I didn't get that memo. And from Dublin, Ireland, Nicole Kane. Here's someone who has faced some tough odds and tougher opponents, but always gives it their all. Like, I know you think that's a good thing, but this person could learn a thing or two about the value of running and hiding. Ah, uh, yes, the value of being a coward. A competitor who is always laser focused on the competition. I expect big things from her tonight. We see the scoreboard and the clock is ticking. Corey, how important is it to score the first fall in this matchup? It's of the utmost importance because then your opponent's fighting from underneath. It means your opponent has to score two consecutive decisions over you to win. Not an easy task, to say the least. Something to also remember is the first fall could be the only fall in the match. That gives you a huge psychological edge over your opponent. Remember, there was an Iron Man match that ended won nothing. The first ever Iron Man match between Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart at WrestleMania. We talk about how important it is to have time and the scoreboard on your side in an Iron Man match. But Corey, what about when neither one of those things is in a competitor's favor? It's okay to be down by one, but you absolutely cannot allow a multiple fall deficit to happen. That's essentially a death sentence. It's not impossible to come back from, but it's certainly improbable. <laughs> inside a WWE ring. Oh. And now she's climbing to the top turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Double foot stomp. Really just laying it in. And a kick.
She heads into the ring. Snapmare takedown. Oh my! Hip attack. Make it twice. A third time. Can we see it? Uh oh! Oh, this is gonna be nasty. This is gonna be bad. Watch the impact. Oh! And the cover for the win. One, two. Kick out. She still has life. This is going to come down to who wants it more. What a chop! Oh, right to the back. A oh, chop! She's going for it. Makes the cover. Two. Hangs on by a thread. You have to wonder what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. Does Charlotte now have to resort to an alternative? Or do something else to end things? to Charlotte. Stepping through. Legs all locked up here. Just punishing their opponent. Oh! Crushing face first impact. Trouble for the Queen. Cover. One, two. She kicks out. Charlotte knows she's in a fight now. That move only enraged her more. The Queen's looking to make heads roll. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you've tried to end this and failed. I uh, had that well scouted. Here it comes. Neckbreaker! No quarter being given by either competitor yet. Figure four locked in. Charlotte gonna look for the bridge. She's got the submission cinched in tight. She could be up. And for some reason, she lets go of the hole. Will it be? their opponent. Oh! Crushing face first impact. And Charlotte takes another beating there. The Queen is dealing with a serious threat to her throne here. This just has to be Charlotte's DNA. It's the genetics that caused her to kick out after that maneuver. You got to give a lot of credit here. Withstanding what has taken out many other competitors. This place has come unglued. Rightfully so. Here it comes. Snapping the neck. Taking aim on the arm. And she finds an answer to Charlotte. Gross! Up the bit. And able to counter. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? One, two. No, didn't get it. Where is she finding the strength? 
This is unreal. She picks up a fall right in the match. Hoping to end it here. This is it. One, two. She gets the score right in the match. Big hip toss into the cartwheel. And a knee strike. What a combination. She can do it. She can't hang on. And she lets her free. But the damage was certainly done, Michael. Fighting really. From the top. Big miss right there. Oh, Charlotte caught by the counter. And responds with a counter of their own. Swinging. Neckbreaker. Textbook. And now she comes up with a score right in the match. Uh, Down to one knee, off of the other. Man, a knee ballast in Zagari. Charlotte able to steer clear. Pick the leg. Oh, man. Can she do it here? sooner rather than later. Oh, and the counter. Three. Nightmare takedown. Oh, roundhouse kick. Four. Ooh. -hoo. Five. Climbs back into the ring. Come on. 
decision point on this one. Shoulders down. One, two, three. She scores a fall. Uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. The queen's in danger. And it's Charlotte with the reversal. displayed in this match cannot be undersold. They were pushed to the limit, and they still came out on top. Yeah, the competition threw everything but the kitchen sink at them here, but who knows, maybe the kitchen sink would have changed the outcome of this match.